Hello folks, welcome back to SVD, and this is going to be a half-ass review. Uh, yeah, so, obviously, uh, I opened up this figure because uh, I'm going to ship this one to the Philippines without the packaging. Uh, that way we can save money on shipping. Uh, because apparently, uh, my friends in the Philippines want a lot of these. Uh, they're getting their figures from distributors or something like that, like, uh, and the distributors still charging them a lot, like, uh, they're paying $20 for these figures. Uh, when I can get them these figures for, like, you know, 15 bucks, they're saving $5. I don't know if that's really, like, you know, uh, I guess five dollar these days is a lot of money, especially if you're overseas. But anyway, uh, yeah. So we got Tila right here. Uh, I guess I might as well just do a review. I have never reviewed a single figure from the Masterverse line, and uh, to be quite honest, I I don't I I, I wouldn't review these figures uh, unless like you know for special circumstances such as this. Uh, so right off the bat, I can tell you a couple of things. Uh, just by looking at the picture uh, right here, the promotional photos, I realize uh, Mattel actually cheap out on the paint. So you can see her tiara or her whatever thing that she's wearing. Uh, that looked like it's very nicely painted and same with her outfit. You know, you got this copper and then you got this gold. Uh, none of that is present here. This is just very uh, cheap, uh, cheap uh, paint. I think it's actually, yeah, it's paint, but it's not gold. It's not copper or anything like that. So that's definitely, you know, <laughs> they cut some corners right there. Yeah, I mean, a lot of companies do this. Uh, and, you know, sometimes it's very disappointing if you don't, if you catch it, you know, you catch it. If you don't catch it, then uh, whatever. Uh, McFarlane's actually the worst when it comes to the paintwork. You look at half of their figures, uh, they look super nice in the packaging or outside the packaging, on the packaging, and the figure's not painted or anything like that. It looks just terrible. But uh, yeah, they definitely cut some corners with the paint. Uh, looks like the shield's not even painted and stuff like that. Uh, but overall, uh, the accessories are, I think, is pretty decent. I mean, for the price point, you know, you're getting it for uh, how much? $19.99, which is like the price of a Marvel Legends. Uh, you have alternate hands. Uh, you have alternate hands, and you get alternate head, and you get accessories. And you get decent articulation. I mean, you get double jointed elbow for a female figure. You know, you get double jointed knees, and these are pinless. Uh, whole new scopes. Uh, sculpt. Uh, for these figures, which is okay. Uh, they are plasticized PVC, but they're not super gummy. So, like, the joints are not, like, you know, uh, freaking, like, <laughs> floppy or whatever, like, uh, Hasbro Marvel Legends. So, I think that's pretty decent. Uh, articulation-wise, you know, it's, uh, it's very typical. I, I don't think we even need to get into articulation for these. I think they're all pretty much the same. If you have experience with uh, Mattel WWE figures, I think these are, you know, based on those type of articulation. Uh, the sculpting is pretty decent. You know, I can't really complain about the sculpting. Obviously, I think for the price... We're getting a lot more for with these figures than you know what we would get from Hasbro with the Marvel Legends, but you know it's different property. That's Marvel. Uh, this is like Mattel's uh, Masters of the Universe, which you know a lot of people don't care for these figures anymore. You know people blame Kevin Smith for ruining it, kind of like Halo. You know I, I don't know what they're doing with all these like old properties. Uh, they just want to ruin them for the fans. But uh, I, I, I don't care for this franchise, so it really doesn't make any difference for me. I mean, look at this half-ass review, right? Thanks for watching.